wire. We got the wind, wind, wind. Sparking it up, down to the wire. We got the spin, spin, spin. Here in our hands, we burn it brighter. We got the wind, wind, wind. We let it, so we let it. What's up guys, 360 Beyblade here, and today we have a bit of a throwback unboxing because we finally got our hands on this. It's hard to believe that this product is like two seasons old now, but this is the GT Customized set with the stars being Prime Apocalypse and Regalia Genesis, or Regalia Genesis. I'm just going to call it Genesis because that's, that's a good pronunciation. You also get two random bays, but nothing too special about that. Looking at the back of the box, we got the parts for it. Got some nice little random parts for these two bays. Of course, we have Revolve, the best driver in existence. Then we've also got Apocalypse, which is Rocking Zero, Dagger, Ultimate Reboot Dash, which is also a pretty unique part, and we haven't gotten it since. And then we've got pretty much the best bay that is in the set. Regalia Genesis with the hybrid driver. The only other electric driver in Beyblade Burst and probably one of the most competitive parts in the game. Over here, we've got some little charts and stuff and graphs or images showing what Genesis can do and what the driver is capable of. Got Ultimate Reboot down here. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the box, and now let's get right into opening this thing up. All right, so we've got the parts all laid out and the stickers put on. We'll quickly get through these two right here. So we've got Cosmo Dragon, Retsu, Vanguard, Revolve, and then we've got Erase, Fafnir, Ten, Sting, and Trick. Nothing too great about these guys, so, I mean... Let's get let's get them out of here. All right. Now we can get on to the actual main stars of this customized set, and those are Prime Apocalypse and Regalia Genesis. So starting off with Apocalypse, its driver is Ultimate Reboot Dash. This is the Dash Spring version of Ultimate Reboot, and if you guys didn't know its gimmick, basically it's like regular reboot. Only when the tip retracts, you'll hit this me this rubber surface, almost said metal, and you'll get a massive boost in speed. So, with the dash spring, it's going to make this bay the bay a little bit harder to burst, but, I mean, infinite locks have that infinite lock ability. Anyway, next we've got the disc and frame. This is Zero Dagger. So, Dagger is from Excalius, Buster Excalius, and then Zero... Kind of a repeat disc that we see from Spriggan Requiem, but still a pretty solid disc. And then finally, we've got the Prime Apocalypse Layer. Definitely an interesting bay, just because with the infinite lock, you would think they would make them defense types, but we've got an attack type that has the ability to kind of spin forever in terms of its locking mechanism. And... Obviously, you can see doesn't have any teeth, just uses the locking mechanism. And that pretty much does it for this bay, so let's put it together. Now, what I found weird with Apocalypse is that when you put the bay together, you've got to align it. But unlike the other bays, you actually need to press the tab in in order to lock it in place. Otherwise, it will not lock in normally. And that's Apocalypse all set up. And now let's get into Genesis. So we'll actually start with the layer this time. And just like Apocalypse, it does feature the infinite lock. So this layer should be able to spin forever, but just from seeing other videos. Unlike Big Bang, I do believe that if you just hit this layer hard enough, even if it isn't at the bursting point, it can just burst apart. So definitely going to be using Hybrid with Big Bang rather than Regalia. And then we've got the hybrid driver, probably one of the most overpowered parts in the game. Rocks that electric motor and has it where it will gain speed. And, I mean, with that massive boost of speed, it'll also give you a bit of stamina. So, overall, not too bad. So, let's put the bay together. And now let's go into some test battles. 
Alright, testament time of Prime Apocalypse and Regalia Genesis. We'll start with Apocalypse first and then go into Genesis. 3, 2, 1, go. So, yeah, Sun versus Spring. Yeah, kind of what Apocalypse likes to do a lot. Overall, not that bad of a testament. Now, let's do Genesis. 3, 2, 1, go. And now Hybrid activates, and Genesis is going to be spinning around the outside for a while. That's just what Hybrid does. I'd say that's probably better than Ignition, just because Ignition, you can really screw that driver up with its whole reversible spin ability. Should be stopping here any minute now. All right, finally stopped. And now let's put this bay up against Apocalypse and do our test battles. I didn't even get to activate. Okay, so that's a ring out for Apocalypse. There we go. Nice and assembled. Alright, my driver's activated, and so is your ultimate reboot. And this time, the ring out is for Genesis. Yep. And now let's do one more battle. Three, two, one. Oh, and Apocalypse takes the win by a ring out finish. So real quick, we're just going to do one more battle. Only, I'm going to swap out Genesis for Big Bang. See if the results are different. It probably will be. Hmm. The driver didn't activate, but Genesis still won. So, that is pretty much going to do it for this unboxing of the GT Customized set. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash that like button, share it with your friends, comment below your thoughts of these bays and the infinite lock system and if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and it would be awesome to reach that point soon but that's all i have for now until next time i'm 360 beyblade and keep on blading